What is going on guys? This is JG Anjute from TJ Technology. Here to do an update video on CM10 for the Sprint Galaxy S3. So basically this is the August 8th update. Um, and pretty much the updates are is they fixed the unsuspend issue, which is pretty much the DSI command timeout. Now I have no idea what that is, but for all of you out there who actually know what that is, just letting you know that that is fixed. The full overlay UI is enabled now. And I guess that's pretty good. UI uh, stuff always is pretty much good. The major kernel and display update. So hardware vSync is enabled and drivers are actually still being updated by Qualcomm. They have more signage mod features and we'll get to that in a second. Performance rework. So that's pretty much, um, it's going to give you better performance. They have a big interactivity boost. And Trebuchet is back. So normally you would get a launcher with CM9. Now with CM10 you get the same launcher which is Trebuchet so you can edit your launcher options, how many home screens you want and so on. And that's pretty much all the updates in the August 8th build. So let's go to notification bar down here. Let's go down to about phone. Right down here, Sandra Mod version 808 August 8th. So that's just prove you guys that I am on the August 8th build in case you see something. I am on the August 8th build. And of course we got an Android version 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, and let's go ahead and go out of this and let me just show you the UI. You can see that it's a lot smoother and that's pretty much the overlay UI so it's going to make it a lot smoother. Um, it feels a lot smoother than it did before actually so that's pretty cool and Trebuchet is actually in there now so now you can edit all the Trebuchet stuff that you would normally want to edit. Alright so if we scroll up you can see down here that we got interface launcher, lock screen themes, and system. If we go to launcher then you can see here that you can now edit Trebuchet Launcher. So you can edit the home screen, the drawer, the dock, icons in general. If you want to see a video about Trebuchet, go ahead and go on the interwebs and they'll have a video for you of what Trebuchet is. But yeah, basically it's based off the Jelly Bean Launcher and you can edit pretty much all of your launcher options. So if we go back, let's go into lock screen and see if there's anything new. Doesn't look like it. Let's go into themes. Pretty much straightforward in the theme section. System, we do have different things now. So hardware keys, we can edit custom actions. So that's pretty cool. So if we enable that, then you can make the home key long press whatever app you want to launch. So if you uh, installed S Voice on this or Voice Search, then you can, well, Voice Search is already in there since it's Jelly Bean. But yeah, if you want to enable it by just holding the home button, then you can now. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, actually have this thing. So voice search. This is pretty cool. So now when we hold down home, it's going to launch voice search. So let's go ahead and see. How tall is Mount Everest? And it works just like that. So that is pretty cool. I'm definitely going to use that a lot. It's a good way to sort of copy the iPhone in a way if you, uh, if you wanted that. But yeah, let's go to menu key. So menu key, this is pretty much the, uh, key right here on the left side so you can that's pretty much the open and close menu on default and that's what it's supposed to be but if you don't want that let's say you want it to be recent apps then when you click that you can see your recent apps so that is very cool if you do not like what the capacitive buttons are right now then you can change that Sancho mod really put a lot of thought into that but yeah right now I'm just gonna have it the normal because I actually do sort of like the menu key I find it coming very handy and you can also uh, um, pretty much edit the search key which is pretty much the long press on the menu um, button and you can also edit the action overflow so you can display the three dot overflow menu button within the apps and that's pretty much um, how it was on the Evo 4G LTE there's sort of a black bar here with three dots and that was the menu button now if we go back into system you can see that we really don't have anything else except for power menu screenshots so when you hold down on power you can see here that you now have an option to take a screenshot so if you want to take a screenshot it's going to take it just like that and you can scroll down and look at it just like that. So it's a pretty cool feature and yeah. What I did notice is that when you actually do launch voice search, um, there's no lag and usually on the uh, iPhone or pretty much just the stock Galaxy S3S voice there was a little bit of lag but there's no lag on this so that is pretty cool. As soon as you hold it down it just launches. It's pretty much the perfect time that you have to hold down. But yeah, overall, I extremely recommend that you guys should update your Sprint Galaxy S3 right now to the August 8th build. It has endless improvements and it's just overall a great update for Sprint Galaxy S3 owners. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll eventually be posting more updates for AOKP Jelly Bean and CM10 Jelly Bean on the Sprint Galaxy S3. 
So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you all later.